Hey guys, Fikunoz Meister here with How To Men. If you clicked on this video, you're most likely tired of that same old Samsung UI. So today I'm going to show you how to quickly tweak and tune the interface without needing root. If you're curious, I'll be using a non-rooted Galaxy S9 that is currently running Android 8.0 Oreo. Anyways, the first thing I need you guys to do is open the Samsung app called Galaxy Apps. It should have come pre-installed, so just look for it in your app drawer. Once opened, search for Good Luck and download the first app on the list titled Good Luck 2018. If you have a Samsung device that's older than the Galaxy S8, it may not show up, but you can still find most of the apps I'm about to show off in Galaxy Apps. But with Good Luck 2018, you can quickly customize system features. It will make you download separate apps for each thing you want to customize, but they're all free. Starting with Lockstar, this app will allow you to customize the look of the lock screen. For example, you can change the placement of the clock, add up to 6 app shortcuts, or have none at all, change the look of the clock, and decide what items should be on the lock screen. So if you want to remove the status bar, clock, or every item on the lock screen, you can do just that. Moving on to Quick Start, this little app will let you modify your status bar and quick settings panel. By default, you can already mess around with the tile order and grid size, but with Quick Start, you can change the overall look. This includes the colors of the icon, text, and background color. You can also add in a blur and dim effect behind the panel. There's a section called Simple Indicator, which lets you add or remove icons from your status bar. And lastly, you can add a third button when you swipe on a notification within your notification panel to quickly open that app in a window. Tasker Changer is my favorite out of the bunch because it allows me to change the style of the recent menu. I was kind of getting bored of that vertical page scroll. Now I can choose between a variety of different scroll effects such as cube in, linear, scale, rotation up, and more. Plus the animations and transitions look so much better than Samsung's default recent menu. Moving on to routines, within here you can set a variety of different profiles that automatically turn on certain settings or open apps when you go to a specific location, when it's a particular time, or when your phone does a certain task. For example, when I hop in the car, I can connect to its Bluetooth, and then I can have my phone automatically open Spotify and start playing music, make the font size a bit bigger, and read my incoming messages out loud. When I play a game such as Clash of Clans, it can automatically change the performance mode, turn on Do Not Disturb mode, and automatically set the media volume to 60%. I'm sure you get the point, Samsung already created a few routines that you can quickly turn on, or you can make your own if you so choose. Clock Face gives you a few more options to customize the clock on both your lock screen and always on display. There are 20 clock styles for the lock screen and 29 for the always on display. I know you can already download a bunch of presets on Samsung themes, but these extra options are completely free and don't look that bad. There's also a few recommended apps down at the bottom. The first one is Edge Lighting Plus to customize the edge lighting feature that shows up when you get a notification. Edge Touch is a great way to prevent unintended screen touches by setting up zones around the edges of the screen. These zones won't respond to touch. This is perfect for the Galaxy S7 Edge since the edges are so excessive and your palm can easily interact with the screen when you're holding it. That's no longer an issue with Edge Touch. One Hand Operation Plus makes it easier to use the phone with one hand. It places two bars on the edges of the screen, swiping across the bar will make you go back, swiping down diagonally will bring up the recents page, obviously you can change the swipe functions, the width of the touch area, swipe distance, and more. Not a bad option if you have a huge phone like the Galaxy S9 Plus. Lastly, Sound Assistant is a great way to control the sound settings on your Samsung device to the extreme. You can preset volumes for individual apps, set scenarios, switch audio from stereo to mono when listening with one ear, have a floating button that only pops up when you press the volume rocker, and more. Now before I move on to the final modification, I wanted to give a huge shout out to dbrand for sponsoring this video. By using their skins, you can greatly customize not just your Samsung device, but any other smartphone you own. They have plenty of materials, colors, and designs to choose from. Currently, Black Camo and Red Dragon are my favorite textures out of the bunch. I'll drop a link right below that like button if you want to give your smartphone a unique look. Finally, the last step to fully modify your Samsung device is to get a third party launcher. The one I'm currently using is Launcher version 2. It's based on Google's Pixel Launcher and has way more customization options. You can change the icon pack, choose between a light or dark theme, and you can customize the dock, app drawer, home widget, also known as the at a glance widget, desktop layout, and more. There's also a backup category that lets you backup and restore the settings. Overall, Launcher version 2 is fast, smooth, and less of a hassle to use than Samsung's stock Launcher app. Of course, there are other options on the Play Store such as Nova Launcher or Action Launcher, but I just wanted to let you guys know which one I'm using. I'll drop a link to download Launcher version 2 and the stable version as well. Either way, those are the best ways to modify your Samsung device without needing root or ADP. If you guys know any other methods, let me know down in the comments. 
Don't forget to check out some awesome skins from Dbrand, drop a like, and get subscribed for more awesome Android content, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!